fellas. Well, today we're going to be talking about mufflers. Um, yeah, I've never had a muffler part, never seen the inside of it. So, the other day when I did that video about the stop leak kills the compressor, it kind of piqued my interest. So, when I cut this muffler out of the unit, um, I could blow through this side right here, and nothing would happen. I, it was like it was stopped up. Well, I blew through this side right here, and when I did, I can blow all the way through it. So that instantly told me this had a check valve in it. Well, so I didn't think much about it until this morning I was thinking about it, and it's like, well, let me go pull that thing off the truck and cut it open and see what's inside of it. Because like I said, I've never seen the inside of a muffler. And I figured since I've never seen the inside of a muffler, then there's a lot of people out there that's never seen the inside of one. Well, so I did. So, but before I did cut it off, I blew through it again. I blew through this side, nothing happened. Uh, it was like it was plugged up. And I went and blew through the bottom side of, side of it. Which now, this muffler, it has an arrow on it. See that arrow right there? And so that means it leaves the compressor, it leaves the discharge of the compressor as a hot gas, and that hot gas comes through here and comes out this end here and goes into the condensing coil. Well, the purpose of the check valve is to keep from slugging the compressor. We've all heard that term, slugging the compressor. Well, that's the purpose of having the check valve in it. So as I cut it apart, I cut into the check valve. So that was a big fail. So here is part of the check valve right here. And I'm guessing that that goes in there like that. I don't know, because like I said, when I cut it apart, it, this thing just coming apart. But I'm guessing that that's how that goes. Um, <clears throat> same thing on this side. And the reason I say that is because I'm just kind of looking at, at uh, the way it's made. Like I said, I had no idea. As far as I know, it could go, it could go like that. It could go like that. But I don't, I don't think it does because see those holes there. So this thing has a little reed valve. It's actually magnetic. Look at that. Anyway, so that went inside of here, and it would have to make contact with that somehow see like that so that's why I thought well maybe it goes in here like this like that but it, this one doesn't work on this side because the size is different um, like that. it's hard to do with one hand and then this kind of fits in there like that and then it raises up and down and uh, and then this piece here, actually, because you can see a little spot right there. That piece there actually fits inside there somehow. Uh, I don't know how, but, but it does. So anyway, so that's your check valve. Freon goes through here, hot gas goes through here, and then pushes against it. And then, in turn, if pressure comes back through this direction, then this would close off and shut it off. Um, like I said, so since I failed at showing what the inside of that muffler looked like, I decided I would go to my scrap pile. And one of these 17 units out here would have had a dryer in it. So out of my 17, I found three that had a dryer. Um, this one came off a pain heat pump, and this one came off a Train XC1000 that was made in. 2000. I do have another train XC1000 that was made in 95 and it didn't have one in it. So there's one more out here that I have that has a muffler in it. Um, so I decided, well, since I failed on that one, I was going to cut another one open. So I went to this one, the train XC1000, and cut it open. Well, here's what I found just an empty cylinder. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. So, piqued my interest. 
there's the top of it, nothing. So it piqued my interest. Well, why did this one have a check valve and this one didn't? So I figured, well, surely this came off a straight AC. Surely the heat pump would have a check valve in it. So, and I wanted to show you what, how the check valve was set up. So here's the check, here's the one off the pane heat pump. No check valve. So I thought that was just weird that, that this came off a of Weather King, which is a really, really cheap ream rude builder's grade cube unit. Um, and it had a check valve in it to keep from slugging the compressor. Um, and these didn't. So I thought that was kind of odd. But now, now that you've seen the inside of one, let me show you where these would go. And keep in mind, that looks an awful lot like a dryer. And this one is marked muffler. But this one is not. This one is not marked muffler. This one here is not marked muffler. The only thing this one has on it is an arrow, which a regular dryer, we call these bullet dryers. That's what we call them down here. I don't know what y'all call them wherever you're at, but we call them bullet dryers. This one does not have muffler on it. It does have an arrow, which could make you think that that was a dryer. So, let's walk over here to the condensing unit. Now, this one does, does not have a muffler in it. And, but here's where it would go. It would go somewhere in this discharge line. The discharge line at the bottom, suction line at the top, or the discharge line leaves the compressor, goes up, comes down, and then uh, somewhere in the discharge line would the muffler would be mounted. Now, if you ever see one in there, just know that the, you will never, ever, ever find a dryer in a discharge line. And if you do, it's wrong and if it stays in there for too long it will not be pretty um, now I speak from experience not because I've ever put a dryer in place of a muffler now I have called it a dryer and then caught myself and said no the muffler uh, because it looks so much like a dryer um, but it just uh, um, just know that if you ever see a dryer in place of one uh, you will be going back and doing some repairs major repairs so anyway uh, Now I'm on the hunt I'm on the hunt for a muffler That has a check valve in it Because I want to see how it's set up. I mean I can kind of figure it out, but like I said it just moves up and down like that And, but I don't know, I'm not quite sure what this piece was for. Because um, you can see where it goes. Because right there. And how is there enough room for this thing to go in. <clears throat> and still have room for this. And close it off. Kind of weird. I don't know. Anyway. That's it. That's mufflers.